In this lecture, I'm going to solve these two questions. So let's start with question number one. Let x is equal to the outcome when a fair die is rolled once. If before the die is rolled, you are offered either 1 divided by $3.5 or hx is equal to 1 divided by x dollars. Would you accept the guaranteed amount or would you gamble? So we are given that x is equal to the outcome when a fair die is rolled once. So let's note down the possible values of x and their corresponding probabilities. So x can take six values, one, two, three, four, five and six. And the corresponding probability values are one by six, one by six, and it's one by six for all these values. Now to take a decision whether to accept the guaranteed amount or gamble, we must calculate the expected amount that we can get if we gamble. So that means we should calculate the expected value of h of x. So this is what we have to calculate to take the decision whether to gamble or to accept the guaranteed amount. So we are given in the question that h of x is equal to 1 divided by x. So let's note down the possible values of x and their corresponding probabilities. So when x is equal to 1, h of x is also equal to 1. When x is equal to 2, h of x is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, it is 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and 1 by 6. And the probability values are same here. So it's 1 by 6 for all the values here. Now we have to calculate the expected value of hx and this expected value is equal to summation hx multiplied by probability of x. So this is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 6 plus 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 6 till 1 by 6 multiplied by 1 divided by 6. And this is equal to, we can take 1 by 6 common. So this is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 6. And solving this, we will get 1 divided by 2.44. So this is the amount that you can expect to receive if you gamble. And if you do not gamble, you will receive 1 divided by 3.5. Well, this amount is greater than this amount. So in this case, you should gamble. So this is all for this question. Let's move to question number two. A chemical supply company currently has in stock 100 pounds of a certain chemical, which it sells to customers in batches of five pounds. Let X is equal to the number of batches ordered by a randomly chosen customer and suppose that x has the following probability mass function. Compute expected value of x and the variance of x. Then compute the expected number of pounds left after the next customer's order is shipped and the variance of the number of pounds left. So we are given in the question that x is a random variable and it is equal to the number of batches ordered by a randomly chosen customer. And the company has 100 pounds of a certain chemical in stock and they are selling the chemical in lots of 5 pounds. So now let's calculate the expected value of x. So we are already given the probability mass function of x. So expected value of x is equal to summation of x multiplied by probability of x. So this is equal to 1 multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.4 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.3 plus 4 multiplied by 0 0.1 and this is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.4 and this is equal to 2.3. So the expected value of x is equal to 2.3. Now let's calculate variance of x. We know that variance of x is equal to summation x minus mu whole square multiplied by probability of x. So this is the formula I'm going to use to calculate the variance. And this is equal to summation x minus 2.3. Well, mu is equal to expected value of x only. So that's why I've written 2.3 here. Square multiplied by probability of x. 
and now we can write it as 1 minus 2.3 whole square multiplied by 0 0.2 because that's the probability that x is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 2.3 whole square multiplied by the probability that x is equal to 2 which is 0 0.4 plus 3 minus 2.3 whole square multiplied by 0 0.3 plus 4 minus 2.3 whole square multiplied by 0 0.1 and solving this you will get 0 0.81 so this is the variance of x so after calculating the expected value of x and the variance of x let's move to the next part now we have to compute the expected number of pounds left after the next customer's order is shipped and the variance of the number of pounds left so let's say that this is equal to y. So the number of pounds left after the next customer's order is shipped is equal to y. So that means we have to calculate the expected value of y in this case. Okay, so this is what we have to calculate. Now what is y equal to? Well y is the number of pounds left after the next customer's order. So it is equal to the total stock with the company which is equal to 100 pounds minus 5 times the number of batches ordered by the customer. I have written it 5 times the number of batches because in one batch we have 5 pounds and y is the number of pounds left after the next customer's order is shipped. So this is all in terms of pounds. Okay, so y is equal to 100 minus 5 of x and we have to calculate the expected value of y. Well, to calculate the expected value of y, we can use the proposition that expected value of ax plus b is equal to a multiplied by expected value of x plus b. So using this proposition, we can write expected value of y is equal to expected value of 100 minus 5x. So this is equal to 100 minus 5 expected value of x. And we already know the expected value of x. It is equal to 2.3. So this is equal to 100 minus 5 multiplied by 2.3. And this is equal to 88.5. So the expected value of y is equal to 88.5. Now we have to calculate the variance of the number of pounds left. So that means we have to calculate the variance of y. So variance of y is equal to variance of 100 minus 5 x and to calculate this we can use the proposition that variance of a x plus b is equal to a square variance of x so we can use this proposition using this proposition we can write variance of 100 minus 5 x is equal to minus 5 whole square multiplied by variance of x and we already know the value of variance of x. It is equal to 0 0.81. So this whole expression is equal to 25 multiplied by 0 0.81. And this is equal to 20.25. So this is all for this question.